Hello everyone and welcome to a special outside edition of Diecast Emporium. On today's video we're going to be taking a look at a Volvo model, obviously. It is the Volvo EC300E Hydraulic Excavator. It's made in 150th scale by MotorArt. Now don't let MotorArt throw you off or instantly click off of this channel. I know that they've produced some questionable models in the past, but actually guys, overall this is a pretty good model. So the real life EC300E is an excavator in the 30 ton weight class. And if you have been around my channel for a while and have seen some of my other videos, you may have seen the review I did on the EC220D, I believe it was. And uh, that model was uh, borderline horrible. And the main reason for that was this cylinder right here was plastic, and the machine couldn't hold any pose whatsoever. And it was just, like I like to call, a fabulous flop. So, first test. Does this one do anything better? Look, Mom, no hands. Amazing. The addition of the metal cylinder makes such a huge difference. As you can see here, any pose you want to set is completely achievable with this machine, and it doesn't do one of these numbers. We don't want one of those. As with most motor art models, you can see it does have an opening engine hood, but unfortunately this suffers from the same symptom, as as soon as you put it upright, it likes to fall down. But inside, there is a detailed Volvo engine, and a couple different components that are painted in green and silver, which add some detail and look great. Up on top, you can see there are hydraulic lines going from the boom and the stick. Likewise, the handrails are metal and thin. And also the beacon light is a plastic piece, but it looks fantastic and very realistic. On the back, nice Volvo name, embossed on the counterweight. Here's the TV camera, or not TV camera, I should say video camera and two warning decals, which again, look awesome. The metal tracks do roll very, very well. They are individually linked and they are tensioned. Underneath, some detail on the undercarriage, uh, not too terribly much, but if for whatever reason you wanted to take this machine apart, perhaps you're doing some work on it in a diorama that has a construction garage, the, you can actually separate the um, undercarriage from the body if you want to do that. Just take those two screws out. Looking on the front, there's a windshield wiper, two mirrors over here, one here and one right up here. However, there's no mirror on the operator side, so that's a little confusing to me, but it is what it is. Nice Volvo name over here on the cab, Volvo logo right here. And all of the controls are accurately modeled inside the cab as you can see there. It does spin freely, 360 degrees, no problem. So, how does this machine look in a couple different poses? Well, here's a dump truck, really big. Let's do this. And as you can see, it loads it, no problem, and the two make a great pair. As for a transport, transport load, excuse me, it will fold up tight, spin it around here. Bring in our matte granite low boy. Here we are. And there you go. Looks pretty good on there as well. Last thing I'll show you is the box art and the box that it comes in. Get this out of the way. Your standard Volvo box, just a clear window box, pop open one of the sides, take these two plastic formers out, separate the, ta uh, the uh, tape, pull them apart, and the model's inside. You don't have to worry about twisty ties. On the back, there's a nice picture of the machine at work and also an outline should you want to cut this out, um, which I don't know why you'd want to do that, but it is there to give you the option. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. Overall, this is a fantastic model. Um, I like the detail, the paintwork is great, the detail is great, but most importantly, the functionality is great. So if you want an actual functioning Volvo excavator model that looks relatively good, I know there's a lot of collectors out there uh, that like the Volvo equipment, then this is one I'd recommend. Is it worth the over $100 price tag? I'm not sure. Um, I was lucky enough to actually get this at a discounted price at a Volvo dealership near me. Um, and as far as for what I paid for it, absolutely it's worth it. Um, so, like I always like to tell people, use the online retailers. That's where you're going to find a lot of great deals and the most variety of models. 
But uh, sometimes just going to your local dealership itself and checking out the parts department, you never know. You might get lucky, and uh, you, you never know what you may find there. So as always, guys, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.